Spectre. Spectre is during trainings. Definition's pretty simple. You can't speak unless you're asked for permission to do so. Your mic should be muted, so everybody mute your mic right now. You'll only speak if you ask permission to, or if you're directly asked questions. You should ignore my background, it's gonna be pretty wild in just a second. Uh, when you ask for permission to speak, all you have to say is PTS or permission to speak. The instructor will accept or deny this request. If accepted, you may speak or ask the questions you desire. If denied, you must meet your mic and wait to be addressed. Once we load into the game, do not move, do not look around, do not shoot, don't do anything, wait for further instructions. Does anybody have any questions before we begin? Slayer. Uh, yes, do we have to climb the mountain? Yeah, you'll oh, find out what we okay. do in just a second, so don't move. And PTS is now officially active. Hello, cadets. My name is Saberfear. I will be the drill instructor for today's basic combat training. I am the CEO of Sentinel and the commanding member of the session. I am joined by Lasky and Snapshot, who are... Um, going to be part of the cadre of this game. Wayward is going to be helping out, and Fanonified is also going to be helping out. Uh, so, Snapshot, Lasky, Fanonified, and Wayward, you guys can step out, and you guys can grab weapons if you want or whatever. Um, just kind of stay around and keep your mics muted and whatnot. Alright, so the first, we're going to be covering six phases of training today. Um, starting with phase one, which is drill and procedure. Phase two, callouts. Phase three, vehicle weaknesses. Phase four, parkour course. And phase five, classroom, with finally the last one, is six mountain climbs. So, I'm going to be covering a lot of things today. Um, so, yeah, just uh, stick with us. And like I said, if you have any questions along the way, feel free to ask for permission to speak so we can address those questions. Um, so, in phase one with drill and procedures, uh, we're going to be covering the basic commands commonly used within Sentinel and lingo that we use on a daily basis so you're familiar with how we operate. So, first off, we're going to actually go to module three first. Since you're already standing here, we're going to go over communication. So, we have a total of four different kinds of communication, tactical communication, free communication, permission to speak, and communication silence. So. Tactical communication, or TACCOMS for short, is simply communications that are related to combat at hand. Absolutely no off-topic conversations are tolerated, no raging, no side comments, everything must be focused about the game, callouts, communications, orders, and teamwork are only the, kinds of, the only kinds of communication allowed at this method. Free communications is pretty much the opposite of tactical communications. It covers literally anything off-topic or unrelated. Communication is not filtered, and you can say just about anything you want. Calm silence, or communication silence, is a, simply a professional command for shut the fuck up and don't talk. Literally mute your mic and say nothing under this scenario. All comms in this method should be through Discord or Xbox. Oh, you scare me. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, through Xbox or some kind of message and not through audio or mic, PTS or permission to speak is communication method. Uh, is the communication method we're using right now and we've already covered so any questions about the communication methods within sentinel no awesome so now we're going to be moving on to module one which is phasing movement so in almost every military based clan you will find phasing movements and sentinel our phasing movements are based off of the united states army and how they're executed there are three kinds of phases left phase right phase and about phase Phasing movements are simple. A left phase is a 90 degree turn to the left. A right phase is a 90 degree turn to the right. An about phase is a 180 degree turn to your right. Let me repeat that. So whenever you're doing an about phase, it's always you're always going to be turning to your right. The only time you ever turn to your left is whenever I say left phase. So if it's an about phase, you're going to be turning to your right. That's pretty simple. So let's try it out. Left phase. Right face, about face, left face, left face, left face, about face, about face. about face nice 
Alright, left face. So, moving on to module 2. In Sentinel, we have two kinds of formations, X formation and Y formation. While most military clans have Alpha and Bravo, we teach X and Y, so there's no confusion on what kind of line we are creating. Based on of graphs, the X is side to side and Y is vertical, up and down. So for an example, I say a make a Y formation on me, it's essentially just a line uh, right in front of me. If I say an X formation in front of me, and you'll stand side by side uh, directly in front of me. Uh, any questions about that? All right, so we're gonna try it out. Make a Y formation on me. Oh, you've already been through the training, Heartbreaker. Um, if you want to, you can step out, but you can participate on in this if you want, or you don't have to. Alright. Uh, make uh, a PTS. formation on me. Yeah, granted. Uh, yeah, it's a Heartbreaker. Um, Duke, I'm here for the DI training. Am I, can I just watch you do these things? Is that it? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, make an X formation on me. Awesome. All right, you guys got it down. And that's pretty much it for phase one of the training. So now we're going to be moving on to phase two. So we're going to be covering all the major callouts in Forge World. Keep in mind, you might use callouts that other clans do not use. So if you notice something different, then just Take a note of that and tell us um, and inform me after the training session is over so that way we can add it to the training. But don't interrupt the training so we can kind of get through it pretty fast. We have one, two, three, four, five, six of us trainees. All right, follow me. You don't have to get in line, just follow me. Um, get in two per Warthog. So there should be three Warthogs total. I'm going to be getting in a Mongoose and make a line. Um, behind me with the warthogs and once everybody's in the warthogs we're going to be driving in a yeah I would recommend getting in the uh, gunner, gunner seat too so you have a better range of motion to what you can see okay cool uh, let's I'll fix this line I'll stay in the back so I can watch the line well I got it all right, so now that everybody's in Warhogs, we'll be driving in a single line using the commands follow me and halt. It's pretty simple. When I say follow me, then drive behind me in the line. Whenever I say halt, then stop the line. All right, let's begin. So behind us, um, where this space is, where Camp Greenhorn is located, we call that the mini island or the small island. Um, some people call it X-ray. Um, but that's basically the call out over here um, to the left. I'll shoot at it and whenever I shoot at somebody or point or point at something the uh, Warthog gunners shoot at the location that I'm uh, talking about so to the left we have mini Everest um, That's like the small uh, kind of mountain on the entire island and then to the right we have uh, Everest which is the biggest island or the biggest mountain on the island or the biggest mountain really on over here um, so yeah, Everest is up ahead, Mini Everest is to the left. Alright, follow me. This little blue cave over here is called Foreigner Cave because it's, you know, Foreigner uh, architecture and whatnot. Also, make sure that you're Shot. careful with your Warthog driving because some people, uh, cough, cough, wayward, um, dive into the water. Cough, cough, what? Uh, as we go into this hotel, th this cave, this is called Hotel Cave, above it is called Top Hotel. Uh, where this parkour course, this is called north of the island, and by the way, this entire thing is called the island, if you didn't already know that. Uh, we're going to be passing over north Sandbridge right now, or land bridge. Actually, let's halt the con uh, convoy real fast. If you actually look up at the top of your 
map. I don't know if you guys knew this, if you guys played Halo Reach or not, but there's actually a compass so you can see directions. So if you don't know the call for anything in Forge World, it's a good idea to just look at the top and call out your direction and what you kind of see. Um, but anyways, we're going to be moving on. Follow me. Up here is the coastline. Uh, this entire side is pretty much called the north or the coastline, but you can call it your base left directions. So we're going to halt the convoy right here. Um, to the right is Ranger Mountain. There are different levels to Ranger. I'm going to shoot at it right now, and once again, Warthog turrets, just shoot at it with me. Uh, this is called Ranger 1, which is the lowest location of Ranger. Uh, to the right, this is Ranger 2, and then above Ranger 2 is Ranger 3, uh, which is all the way up there. Might not even be able to reach it, but anyways, follow me. And we will halt the convoy right here. This is South Land Bridge or Sand Bridge. Um, if you notice, you can kind of see it. Those caves over there on the island, those are called the Bear Caves systems. Um, that's the south of the island. Um, and then to your right, this is called, or what we call Back Alaska, um, because this entire mountain is called Alaska. Um, we'll cover that in just a second. Um, you can actually climb up this, which we'll teach in advanced training, which I'll get into more about later. Uh, to the left of Back Alaska, we have the avalanche over here. This is the avalanche section. And then under Alaska, we have the big cave because it's a big fucking cave. All right, follow me. So up here, uh, this could be landslide or rock slide. And then on top of rock slide, there's a cave that we call Terrace Cave or Back Cave. Uh, those are the two columns we used. All right, we'll halt the convoy right here. Uh, to the left, this is Front Alaska or Easy Alaska. This is the climb right here that you do to get up onto Alaska, which we'll teach you guys later. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm an idiot. Stay in your warthogs. All right, to the right, this is Marine Hill or Marine Mountain. Um, follow me. To the right, we have um, Red Tree Line. I believe it's Red. I know it's a tree line, Red Tree Line. Uh, and then above Red Tree Line, let's halt, stop the convoy, halt. Uh, this is Three Man Summit, and then this climb you can take uh, to the right uh, over to Marine Hill, which we'll teach you guys in a little bit. Um, we're going to take the Warthogs through Water Cave, which is called Water Cave because there's water in it. Uh, pretty nice. I don't know if you can even fit Warthogs in here. You should be able to it. Yeah, nice. Okay, cool. Alright, you'll follow me through here. We're going to be going across uh, the Crescent. Crescent. Cool. Uh, we'll halt the convoy and wait for people to catch up. But to the left, this hill right here is called Hamburger Hill. I don't know why it's called Hamburger Hill. Maybe it looks like a hamburger. Who knows? Yeah, just follow the warthogs up here. We're going to be going through Dry Cave right now because it's dry. It doesn't have any water in it. What a surprise. Shocker. Uh, this is Blue Tree Line over here. And this is, we're going to be approaching uh, the beach where all the vehicles are. Uh, to the right, this is Montana. This entire mountain is called Montana. Uh, over here is called Shadow Montana because it makes a shadow. And it's darker. It's the entire region. Up here, this is Shark's Mouth. Right here where this little... Uh, not really a cave, but this, real, this little indention is. And then above shark's mouth is shark's nose because if you look at it we'll actually drive over here so you guys can see it i didn't know this already but it actually looks like a shark's nose so anyways let's uh take the vehicles back um over here and so we're gonna move on to phase three of training which are the vehicle weaknesses so we're going to be covering not only the weaknesses, but also the important details. Let's go ahead and halt the convoy, stay in the vehicles, because we're going to need them in just a second. Um, so the way that Halo Reach works with weaknesses is significantly more important than Halo, the other Halo titles, specifically Halo 5, if you're a Halo 5 guy kind of guy. Uh, so let's just jump into it so you guys know what we're, we're going to be doing. So most important thing to know here, move this Warthog out of the way so that they can see. 
Um, the most important thing that you need to know for a raid, specifically with vehicle weaknesses, is that you can shoot the laser. With the laser, you can shoot the turret off of the Wraith and the Scorpion. Those are very important things to know if you have a Spartan laser or if you're driving the vehicle, uh, because it normally will take you two Spartan laser uh, shots to destroy the Wraith and the uh, Scorpion, but uh, if you destroy the turret, then it's basically just a hunk of garbage that's useless. Um, in the Scorpion, I'll drive it over so you guys can see it. The biggest weaknesses are, well, just in general for every weakness on Halo, it's going to be the driver. So your first objective is going to be to try to kill the driver out so you can utilize the vehicle, especially in raids. Like if you can kill the driver out of the vehicle, then it's very important to get like a, if you have a Falcon, a Banshee, Scorpion, any of that kind of stuff, you're going to want to try to kill the uh, driver. And how you do that on the scorpion it's pretty easy you just have to shoot the canopy the canopy will pop off and you can shoot the driver right out um but if you're trying to actually destroy the vehicle then the easiest way to do that is shooting the treads not like where the actual tires are not the armor on it the actual tires and but the biggest weakness is actually the back where these uh this little ventilation system is uh shooting the turret really is only useful if you have a laser because that's the only um weapon in the game that consist can can consistently destroy the turret um, so yeah, moving on to the Warthog, the biggest weakness is obviously going to be the passengers inside because of how much of a kill box. If you're actually trying to destroy the vehicle, though, the wheels and potentially the windshield are also big targets that you can focus on. If you're trying to kill the people out of the Warthog, then the turret might be your priority depending on your situation. Just depends on what kind of situation you're in and what you're going to target first. Uh, moving on to, I guess, the Mongoose. We have one right here. Um, so on Halo Reach, we're going to be playing free for all. So obviously, um, we're if we have a mongoose, we're going to try to load it up with two people. Um, is there anybody in the game that does not know how to get onto the mongoose using both mes methods, which are the crouch method and the uh, like, basically get off and on at the same time? Like, is if there's anybody that does not know, get out of your warthogs right now, and then come up so I can show you real fast. If not, then we'll continue on. So. All right, cool. So dummy thickhead, come up here. So basically, uh, and Koki, okay, so actually Lasky, come get out so you can show him real fast how to do it while I stay on the on the war, uh, Mongoose. So the first method we're gonna show you is the crouch method. All you have to do is crouch at the back of either side of the wheel, and eventually you're gonna see the prompt where it doesn't, no, it no longer says hijack, but it says uh, board, like get on to the vehicle. So uh, essentially you're just gonna be looking to the back, like, I don't know. Yeah, kind of like uh, towards the seat side. Kind, yeah, kind of towards it. the seat side and then crouch on it and you'll eventually see it. But obviously don't hold down X. Just wait until you see it pop up and then once you see it pop up, it'll stay there and you'll be able to get on. So this is the easiest way and to do it and the most secure. So that's why we're teaching you here. Kind of like crouch right here. Make sure you have your gun up, by the way. Kind of like shoot once, get your gun up. There you go. Just crouch on it and look at the tip of it. There you go. There you go. Nice. You can actually do it with, from both sides too. Uh, this is probably the yeah. most effective way that we can probably teach it. Not to get off and getting on at the same yeah. time thing. I don't really use this that anyways. It's towards more the back of the mongoose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, there, you there you go. Alright. Now the other method is just to get on and off at the same time. but. Like last few step, it's not as effective to do that, so we're not going to do it. All right, moving on to the revenant. Um, if you notice on this side of the revenant, there is a. Well, I guess it's on both sides, but basically this circular thing, and that applies to all covenant vehicles. Like the circular kind of engine is going to be the biggest weakness. You're going to try to target that if you can see it from the side. However, a lot of the times you're going to see it from the front. You can actually shoot the cylinders from the front if you have a good angle. If not, then shoot the wings. Uh, don't shoot the like actual meat of the vehicle. And if you need to, then shoot the black. But really, I would recommend shooting the wings. Or if you can, shooting the circular part of that revenant in order to destroy it. Moving on to the mongoose. Mongoose, same things. If you see it from the front, shoot the wings. See it from the side, that um, yes, little circular but, thing. Yeah. Pretty sure you can shoot kill it with like one sniper shot or something like that if you hit the turbine what i was told uh wraith similar to the scorpion you're gonna want to try to shoot the back of it 
as you can see the little circular Dude, turbine stop thing. Dude, please. You're gonna want to shoot Wraith that. Wraith and it goes. Oh, Wraith. Did I say ghost? No, you said okay. scorpion. Scorpion? Okay, I'm being an absolute fucking retard right now. Alright, Wraith. 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 This is a Wraith. Alright, shoot the circle thing on the back. Shoot the turret off if you can with the laser. If you look at it from the side, then shoot the areas that are not purple. Um, pretty simple stuff. Something that's cool about um, Covenant vehicles on Reach, you can do this on 5, but on Reach it's a little bit more helpful because you can climb mountains and stuff like that. If you hold down the A button, uh, for some people's control schemes it's RB, but for most of you it's going to be A. If you hold down A, it's going to lift up the front of the vehicle and you can actually get over objects a lot easier. Like for an example, like I can climb up this wraith, I can climb up rocks, but if I'm not holding down A, then it's going to be a lot harder for me, and it's a lot of the times I'm not going to be able to do it like completely to the same uh, degree that I'm able to do it whenever I'm like lifting it up. Uh, it'll make more sense if you guys try it out on your own time, but we're gonna try to speed through this real fast. So it's just good for you to know that and practice on your own time just by holding down a you can go over rocks and eventually climb rocks like there's ways to climb montana and alaska with the revenant or ghost uh, that you're unable to do with other vehicles moving on to the banshee um the banshee wings are the biggest weakness but if you can shoot it from the back then obviously try to do that because there's a chance that you can actually shoot out the driver uh which is very useful if you can steal a banshee from the enemy then that's always what you're going to want to do falcon we don't have one over here right now for some reason but essentially don't shoot um through because there's a big hole in the falcon so try not to if you're trying to destroy the falcon try not to just like shoot through the middle try to shoot the actual cockpit the driver so that way you can have a chance of shooting the driver out and you can also do more damage if you hit that windshield um if you're close obviously shoot the propellers but that's like pretty to do and you're not always going to be able to hit it so Anyways, um, that's pretty much all you need to know about the vehicles. Uh, does anybody have any questions about vehicles, weaknesses, or anything like that? Alright, cool. So now we're going to be going on to the parkour course of the training. I'm going to get in for a hug because my hug is destroyed, so follow me. So we're going to be going over some parkour, uh, basic parkour things that you're going to be able to do on Halo Reach. Crouch jumping, grenade jumping, buddy jumping, very, very simple basic things. As I kind of mentioned earlier, we do are we are going to implement an advanced tr training course, which essentially uh, is going to teach people how to do more advanced things that we're going to host consistently throughout the week um, whenever we're not doing raids and all that kind of stuff. So that way people are more well-versed on how to play the stuff. Um, eventually, once you... There's not really... A, so like... With advanced training, we're eventually going to offer the advanced uh, infantry assessment, which is essentially going to be a test that you can take, and if you pass it, you become advanced infantry instead of just being infantry. And we're going to go ahead and halt the convoy right when you get up here, and then get out, and then we're going to make a Y formation on me to get back to here. Yeah, like I was saying. Um, we're eventually going to have, so we're going to have infantry and advanced infantry, and in order to get into special forces units, it's almost like nine times out of ten you're going to want to pass that infantry, advanced infantry before you actually get into the uh, special forces. So definitely going to be a priority to work on your jumps and all that kind of stuff, but I'll go into that more in depth in the classroom, so let's do a right phase. So we're going to be covering three modules in this training, um, crouch jumping, grenade jumping, and buddy jumping. So. First, we're going to go over crouch jumping. We're going to be doing this course right here. Essentially, all you have to do is crouch jump over every single one of these. Um, basically, the only the only rule with that is you cannot use the grass. So you cannot get on the grass besides this first one. This first one is fine. It's going to be a little easier for the first one. You're not allowed to use the grass, and if you fall down once, so for an example, if you like miss the jump like that or something, you have to go to the end of the line. We're going to be making make a Y formation on me. Crouch jumping is pretty simple. It's pretty much the thing that's been in all halos. Um, all you have to do is jump and then hold on your crouch button. You should not be on toggle crouch right now. Uh, everybody crouch and stay crouched. Crouch and stay crouched. 
All right, you guys all have all the crouch. Good. All right, so everybody can stand up. So we're gonna do this one by one. Once the first person gets over the second objective or uh, like fails the jump, then you can uh, the next person can go. Um, yeah, like I said, if you fall down once, you need to get back in line. Uh, no going on the grass besides the first objective. And the other thing to note is that the second jump is the hardest jump to do because you won't have enough space. With crouch jumping, you're going to want to try to get as much space away from the object as you can. So on every objective, try to get that spacing so you can have kind of that momentum that you need to get up onto the uh, actual obstacle. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and start. Uh, TACCOMS is now uh, open so you can speak as long as it's active as long as it's like on topic and not random if you're trying to give pointers that's cool or if you have any questions feel free to talk freely uh, so yeah you can go go ahead and start next I go on once you fail once yeah go to back go to the back of the line Nice job. And yeah, just stay on the other side. Yep. Just stay right up there. Hey, you can go. You can go as soon as they get over the second objective. Second jump. Crouch jumping is very momentum based, like I was saying. So, if you're having trouble, just try to get more space behind you. I like, try to get kind of a walking start. Like get as far back from as you can. Can we stand on the side? Which doesn't has it have to be like in between the uh pillows? Just don't as stand long on the as you're not on the grass. Yeah, as long as you're uh, not on the grass. Okay. Almost forward. I was about to be yeah. really impressed. I think I got it down, I just didn't move forward. I can't even do that right now. Oh, close. Alright, right. Finn, let's try and just wait for them to complete that course, then we'll go on to this. <laughs> Dummy, you you fell down, so you have to go to the end of the line. You're doing good. As you can see, what Domeritron is doing that is allowed. You are allowed to go to the side. You just can't go on the grass. Or you could go back in like the square behind you, so you could get a little sprint. That's yeah, what I did. exactly. So close, dummy, so close.
you're also pretty close to the drone. By the way, you guys are starting to get the hang of it. Bro, this shit's inconsistent, so I'd go. <laughs> it's, it's very inconsistent because we did every, like, jump at a different distance, so you have to... They purposely spaced it. it. We, pur yeah. we purposely spaced it out so it's difficult. Um, but really, you should be able to hit it every time. That's why we have to make you. That's why we make you do it um, every, you know, in one go. All right, you can go. Um, but yeah, like it's very, it's very mental more than anything because mentally, you know, you just got oh, I got one more, one more, and then you just miss it. So it's like, you know, it's just you just gotta get out of your head and focus believe on yourself. Yeah, believe in yourself, bro. You got this. I'm the sentinel memory you always wanted to be. Oh. Nice job, Dagger. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so another tip, kind of like what Domitron was, was doing here earlier, the best way to find consistency is to go off to the side of the obstacle. You are allowed to do that, you're just not allowed to go into the grass. So if you go to the side, you can kind of get used to that consistency and get over it every single time. Yeah, we almost did it. He was just on our last one. You gotta go to the end if you. Yeah. Honestly, it's just one of these things that needs to click before you can start getting it. Yeah, yeah, that's why we have you guys practice it because this is one of the most fundamental, most important jumps in the game. So. In order to teach you guys a lot of the more advanced stuff, um, you're definitely gonna need to know crouch jumping because crouch jumping is very important with mountain climbing and just general buddy jumps and all that kind of stuff. So,
That lag though. It'd be like that sometimes. Hey, what happened? I was being dumb and I thought it was just Halo 5 and I wanted to take fall damage. I was wrong. Put your body <laughs> floating in the air right now. I'm lagging. I was dead ass wrong. Are you guys lagging? Yeah, I'm I was a little. Bar. Nice job, dummy. What is happening? I think your connection. Oh, this is kind of good. So <laughs> laggy. <laughs> you may want to change host. No, it's fine. It'll fix itself in a second. Hey, where? Why are you shooting at me for? What are you doing? So she shot rockets at me. <laughs> I think you just blew up, bro. Why are you bully? I don't know. I'm lagging. What do you mean? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, we're on snapshot toast right now. Somehow, you guys gonna have what? Yeah, snapshot toast now. Yeah. yeah, I feel like snapshot right. does have. Of course, that snapshot I have house right now. Barely. <laughs> always, 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 always blame the e Snapshot, leave the game real quick. I'm about you back. I mean, I'm playing on my worst route. Someone in this party is using Xbox app. Who's that? Just pulling all of our exit connections so you can have a yellow yeah. bar. Okay, man. <laughs> Fun court. Are you using Xbox app? Nope. You're not? <laughs> Somebody is, but not me. Not me. Wait, you were. You were. You were sh fucking Shadow Clone jutsuing me right now, man. I am. Alright, three places at once. Snapshot, leave the game. Open to host gets unfair. connection. <laughs> Fucking Is tracer one of these. What? I'm already I tracer. Want it. Not leave. Okay, there you go. It, yeah. Give it a minute. Give it a minute. It might let might switch. It's not lagging for me. It's yeah, a little bit. Connection host doesn't change. Whoever's host of the game just keeps host. Yep, it's not lagging. Yeah. Yep. 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 <laughs> actually did stop lagging. Oh, really fear, I think fear. I, no, I think fear's fear already died. switched oh, out. No, hey. Talking. No, fear connection might have lagged because uh, he couldn't hear it. Obviously. Yeah, look. Look, Snapchat left in the connection green, though. It's not because I left. If I can do it, bro. Fear was disconnecting. Nah, it's because you left, bro. You're on a yellow bar. Anyway. Hey, I did it. Hey, congrats, Wayward. Good job, Wayward. You get a, you get a present. RPG What's the same Let me see if I can do this shit. Baby. I Oh no. I fucking go to the wall. He threw the nade, you motherfucker. He threw the press from me to you. I got one. Well, Ak, you got this. Yeah, never again. Alright. Go bad, yeah. I don't know, Snapchat. That connection. I'm not even the only EU in that lobby either. Yeah, he has a point. He has a point. It was literally is. just. Thick is a. Uh, it was is, literally uh, just fierce connection bugging out. Yeah, thick is a. Uh, you. Uh, I need too fat for this. You're right. You got like fireworks. I'm stupid. Oh, we have. We were. We have a. We have a. We have a potential. Uh, we have a potential right, uh, enemy in our game now. Oh, we do. Okay, everybody. Yeah, I'm. Everybody, make a white formation. 
Oh, we're fighting your clan? Alright, we're gonna have to spawn kill them. I'll wait, we're gonna get rid of them. Yeah, everyone PTS. Yes, PTS. sir. Line up on here. Yeah, white formation on me right here. Why, why, why? Why formation? Alright, do a right phase. Um. Spawned with the enemy. I think the only one. Uh. Lux and Domertrons, you were the only two that weren't able to complete it. Is that, is that right? Yeet. Okay. Um, just after the training's over, you guys are gonna have to stay and uh, complete that. Hey, hang on, didn't say I didn't complete it. You did not? Lux finished. Oh, you I did. Think did. Yeah, yeah, I did. Domertron, yeah. you're the only one. You gotta finish it after. No big deal, no big deal. Just your off day, it's probably your Australian connection. Anyways, uh, now we're going to be moving on to grenade jumping. Grenade jumping is something that you can do pretty effectively in Halo Reach. Uh, for advanced training, we're going to require you to do both, but for this training today, we're just going to require you to do one grenade jump to get up to the next objective. Pretty simple. Um, all you have to do is grab the grenade throw it and wait for a delay okay so sometimes if you notice how uh what it just did sometimes it'll glitch through the walls if it glitches through the wall you're not going to get as good of a grenade jump so what i would recommend you doing is instead of throwing it at the wall because you see how like you see how like if i'm at the wall my hand will go phase through so you don't want to do that in order to avoid that since you're going to be throwing with your left hand um try to like look to the side so it throws it on the ground and then basically like so like you're gonna see it bounce, and then whenever it hits the ground, this so it's gonna. All right, so whenever you throw, it's gonna hit the ground once, and then before it hits the ground the second time, that's when you're gonna jump, and then you're gonna jump, and then crouch basically, and you'll get up to the top, and then grab the health pack, and then uh, go to this side. We'll make a line on the other side. So uh, we'll start with locks. So you can give it a try. Yep, there you go. Go on over here. Okay, next. And then just keep doing it until you, until you, yeah, just keep trying it, just keep trying it. Just keep trying it until you get it, yeah. Trial and error. And try not to look too much to the side, make sure you're still looking down. But just look to the, yeah, make sure you're still looking completely down so you can throw it down directly underneath you so you don't have to like move. You can get the health pack, by the way. Also, don't die. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's another very crucial thing with grenade oh, jumping is you have hard. to you have to make sure that you're not one shot, already damaged, or um, taking fire while you're doing it because it's very easily you're very easily gonna get killed. There you go. There you go. I was a little sloppy, but you got it. So yeah, come over to the other side with Lux. The line over here. Make sure you're looking completely down when you throw it. <laughs> yeah, you jumped a little bit too early. A little bit too early. Yeah, you pretty much want to jump as soon as it hits the ground the second time. So you, it bounces, and then before it hits the ground on the second time, that's when you'll jump. Yeah, there you go. You almost got it. You just gotta yeah, hit that crouch jump. Ooh, <laughs> you got the height. It's just uh, it was a little bit too much to the side. There you go. Ooh, nice. Barely got it. Yeah. All right, coming over to the other side. Next person. I mean. Close. Right again. You can grab the health cut, by the way. <laughs> Don't shoot him. Dumped a little bit too early on that one. Ooh. That one, you didn't look all the way on the ground. Make sure you look all the way down. Like, look a little bit to the left so that way it doesn't phase through the wall. There you go. 
jumped a little bit too early. Yeah, that one just went a little bit too much to the side. There you go. There you go. Ooh, that was close. Jumped a little too early. Like, if you were a little bit later, you would have been able to hit that. Yeah, that's probably why the connection's so laggy, because we have EU, Australian, East Coast, West Coast, Central. There, oh, you were so close. Do exactly what you just did, and you'll probably hit it again. Yeah, you were pretty much on it. Close, close. You can jump up and grab that health pack too if you need. Another close one. Just keep trying it, keep trying it. Oh. Nice. Good job, good job. Alright, come down over here. The next Spectre Dagger. Probably change your game attack back to Sentinel Dagger now that you're back in Sentinel. Alright. Yep, first try, motherfucker. You go back over there. Alright, Dom Trials. See what you got. Oh, a little bit too much to the left. Make sure you're looking all the way down. Hey, chill out. Hmm. If it wasn't for your shitty connection, you probably would have made that. That was beautiful. Alright, moving on to the next part of the training. Everybody make a Y formation on me. Let's go. We're almost there. Alright, everybody do a right face. So, we're going to be covering buddy jumping. Pretty simple stuff. All you got to do is find a buddy uh, or another person in the game. Doesn't even have to be your buddy as long as you guys are willing to work together to have a common goal. So, last you come get up on my head. So basically the person on the top is going to be jumping, the person on the bottom is also going to be jumping and using together your jumping capabilities you're going to basically repel and get that person over the top. Now there you go. Um, another method of buddy jumping, come back down here, is pummeling. So whenever you're uh, doing a pummel jump for a buddy jump, obviously, all you're going to have to do is pummel them whenever they get to the top. You're always going to make sure, it's similar to a ground punch jump on Halo 5, you're just going to make sure that when you're on the bottom, you're facing out and the person on the top is facing in. So that way he faces the wall, you face away from the wall, so that way you don't pummel him in the back and kill him, because it's not much of a buddy jump if the person's dead. So yeah, we're going to try it. Alright, jump up. Notice how I waited until the second jump because that's when he's going to be at the peak of his height for his jumping. And he got up. So, dummy thick and dividable, you guys go to the other side. You guys are going to be buddy jump. Just practice the buddy jump first uh, on the other side of it. Yeah, and then Dombertrons and Spectre, you guys go to this side. And just try the buddy jump first. All you gotta do is jump. That's all you gotta do. You're on the top, all you have to do is jump. Yep. And just make sure that you're staying straight. So don't try to, the only direction you should try to move is forward. Don't try to move side to side. Did you have to spring jump at all last year? Were you able to just hit the ground? No, the it just, it's at the jump? peak of it. So you're gonna have to do yeah, like a perfect. You have to get like a perfect one. To do it. Yeah. yeah. So the person on the bottom is the one that's doing the most of the work because the person on the top is just jumping. That's all you have to do is really jump. Person on the bottom, you have to time your jump to where you're hitting whenever the person on the bottom is like coming down from his jump too. Yeah, if you guys just want to pummel them up, then you can do that too. But make sure you're at the peak of the jump whenever you pummel them. Oh, that was... Oh, oh my gosh! No, no, gosh! <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that this was is really good. Advanced, bro. Like, <laughs> this is up. not advanced training, so yeah. Apparently, sometimes you can actually glitch it like that. Uh, but yeah, just come back over here. We're on the north side of the island, dummy. Yeah, that was a very good. Very impressive. <laughs> that was a very impressive. Uh, you, I bet right you there, definitely bro. looked, bro. Yeah. 
Yeah, like I said, if you need to pummel him up, then you can. Make sure you're pummeling at the top. Inspector, make sure you don't stay crouched. Only crouch at the top of the jump, like whenever you get close. Oh, close. It was just a little laggy. Keep trying it out. Keep trying it out. There you go. You both done? Mm hmm. Alright. Stay off to the side, I guess. Nice, good job. Alright, switch. Did you guys both do it? Um, Spectre and Dahmer, you guys switched? Yes. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. <clears throat> hey, Snapshot, can you re invite me back? I'm gonna uh, color some. So, dummy, make sure that you're not moving your controller left to right. Just make sure that you're just going, like, up. Like, don't even move your controller. Like, uh, move your joystick or direction. Just focus on getting the jump up. And then whenever you um, are at the peak, then go forward a little bit and crouch, basically. So, yeah, just keep jumping. <coughs> All right. And then, dividable, pummel, pummel her on the second. Jump. That. Yep. There you go. Almost got it. Almost got it. So whenever he pummels you, that's when you'll start. That's when you'll uh, crouch and move forward, basically. All right. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm gonna count that because you went over the objective. Uh, um, all right. Uh, now, dummy, you're gonna be on the bottom, and divide will be on on the top. So, dummy, get up against the wall, look away. Divide will get up on top, look towards. All right. You can start jumping. So yeah, once he gets to that peak. Oh, whoops. <laughs> No grenades. Um, once he gets to that peak of the jump, like right there, that's when you'll jump. Yep, exactly. You'll want to keep hitting him at when. Yep, right when he gets there. You see? You want to keep jumping. Yep. There you go. Now, whenever he gets to the peak on like the second jump, so there's like two jumps that you have to do to get him up high. Yep. And then on the second one that you hit hit on him, you're gonna want to pummel. If that makes sense. So like on the second jump. Yeah, kind of like that. But you're also going to jump with it. So you're going to jump and then pummel. So like you're not just going to pummel him. Or you're not just going to jump. You're also you're going to jump and pummel. So you're going to jump, hit him, jump, pummel. Yep, there you go. All right, nice. Good job. All right, so everybody's completed the parkour module. So everybody follow me. We're going to go do the classroom module now. Uh, let's double time it back to the facility and... Find yourself, I think we have six trainees in the session, so just find yourself a separate little table in here and we'll get this module out of the way. So we can do the final part of the training, which is parkour, and then after the parkour, we'll be finished. And Domatrons will complete his crouch jumping. <laughs> All right, we're missing one trainee. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, yes, cuck boy. Okay. Uh, Kake, are you there? Oh, he said be right back. I'm gonna go pee pee and drink. Thank you, soldier. Okay. Um, alright, I'm just gonna read it anyway. So, following script I'm about to read is a mandatory training requirement. If you have any questions about anything I cover in this training script, please wait until I'm completely done to ask questions. You may ask anything in regard to the clan structure, identity, or lore. You have to wait until I'm completely done. So, let's begin. The roots and foundation of Sentinel go all the way back to Vast, a dominant military clan that was founded on March 27, 2016. Vast was a power that rivaled and eventually fought a war against Exodus, Naval Command, United Golden Nations, 99th Regiment, and Forgotten Soldiers. These clans were all of the other major powers of the Halo Clan community at the time, but proved no match militarily for Vast. This was in eventually ended peacefully, but Vast outmatched all the clans in the war. 
uh, in a total war record of 10 to 1. This military dominance was only possible because of the Task Force Sentinel, our special forces unit within VETS. Most elite uh, special forces division, Task Force Sentinel, was extremely skilled, disciplined, and highly trained fighting force, arguably the best in the community. This is where the inspiration to eventually, became, to eventually begin Sentinel as we know it today. Eventually, to honor the name Sentinel, Vast created and spearheaded a community superpower coalition containing Vast, Remnant, Triton, Divine Angels, Enerai, and Bellicose. While this coalition was not around for long because of internal disputes between a number of clans within the coalition, this is also yet another foreshadowing to the eventual Sentinel as we know it today. Vast was ended, but eventually Sentinel rose from the ashes of Vast under the leadership of Saber Fear, Saber Fromen, Alliance, Sharp, and Dark Rider 250. Sentinel started on March 27, 2018 as a private military corporation that was designed to take contracts from other military clans within the community. We immediately hit the ground running and was contracted to provide security to a military coup that was starting within the Terran Federation. Successfully taken the Terran Federation capital, this was our first major contract and word spread about Sentinel very fast. One of the first order of business for Sentinel was that we were established our first and most sincere alliances on 3-31-2018. Uh, we are still working with this very day, Trax Industry, Remnant, and Triton. These clans were all allies to Vast all the way back in 2016, so it's only fitting that they have had our back and trust longer than any other factions within the Halo Clan community. We are proud allies and now members of the, unu of the new conglomerate containing all of our past allies and a new addition in Sparta. In the business era of Sentinel, we have had a few minor conflicts with TF, JFCA, UGR, and a number of small clans, eventually leading us to our insurgency era of the clan. On July 14, 2018, Sentinel declared ourselves a full-blown insurrectionist clan aimed at destroying the UNSC community. While this idea at the time was mocked and shot down by many critics, it was only a matter of time before people started to take us seriously after UNSC clans were being destroyed left and right. Throughout the entire UNSC crusade, Sentinel destroyed a grand total of 21 UNSC clans, every single major UNSC clan on Halo 5 besides Naval Command. Once the crusade was ended, there was not a single UNSC clan in the community besides NAVCOM that could conduct raids or even pull more than 8 members for events. In the UNSC campaign, Sentinel won 34 raids, lost 3, and tied 1, truly showcasing our dominance throughout the entire war against every UNSC clan. That was, except NAVCOM. To this day, NAVCOM is one of our biggest rivals and competitors in the Halo clan community. There has never been a more capable competitor, and no clan has ever come close. In the Naval Command War against Sentinel, the war concluded peacefully with an impressive 26 wins, 22 losses, and 7 ties, meaning over 50 raids were fought in this conflict alone. It lasted for over a year and is by far one of, if not the most notable war in the history of the clan community. As you could tell, ever since our founding, Sentinel has been a clan of destruction, conflict, and domination. That is our culture, and that is our identity. We aim for nothing more than to be the best clan in the Halo Clan community and expect that all members of our clan hold that same standard. We expect the best performance out of all of our members and encourage everyone within the clan to contribute as much as they can to making Sentinel the best clan we can be. Despite being almost universally regarded as the number one clan in the community for at least the last year, there are many things that we can do as people and as a clan to improve ourselves, and we are always looking for ways to raise the bar, set the standard, and be the best we can be. Sentinel is a clan based on both Halo 5 and Halo Reach. We currently have two operations, uh, division, operational divisions within the clan. 212th Infantry Division and the 405th Infantry Division. 405th is our Halo 5 exclusive division, so we'll not be talking about that much today. But we do have the 212th Infantry Division, which is the division everybody here is enlisting in and training for. So we'll go into depth on how that's structured. Currently... We have three components of the 212th ID, the infantry, force recon, and the commandos. The infantry is our main fighting force of the clan that contains the bulk of our member count leaders and the backbone of our clan. They are responsible for most of our activity, recruitment, and progression into leadership in Sentinel and is overall uh, the biggest component that everyone will, will be put on into right off the bat. Infantry will also have an elevated role called advanced infantry. The AI and the 212th are people who have passed the advanced infantry assessment that evaluates people on their skill set and knowledge of Halo Reach. In order to apply for special forces, you must complete the AIA or advanced infantry assessment. Special operations component of Sentinel are 
212th Mandos and the 212th Force Recon. So Force Recon is essentially a our competitive focus, so 4v4s and 8v8s with uh, Battle Group Onyx, and we're going to have Battle Group Victory, which is actually led by Lasky over here, which is going to be the more raid-focused version of Force Recon. Uh, these two battle groups will work hand in hand in making sure that Sentinel is the best that we can be. On the other hand, we have the Commandos who just recently joined the clan. The Commandos are a very ancient special forces uh, within the clan community. They are um, the most notable insurrectionist uh, special forces all the way back, um, most notably being in Exodus as their special forces, uh, you know, fighting against NAVCOM in the wars in 2014, 2015. Um, you know, we're going to be, you know, if anybody has any more specific questions about them, you can ask any of the commandos. They have a very long and extensive history of their own that actually outdates us. Um, so very happy to have them in the clan and excited to see what they can do. They're extremely disciplined, extremely trained, and they have very intense training that you have to go through in order to become a commando. And once you're a commando, you're always a commando. So anyways, um, in terms of ranking... Uh, the ranking system in Sentinel is very simple and straightforward. Highly inspired by the United States Army, the ranking system is as follows. You'll start out as a cadet in the 212th. As a cadet, you're not considered a member and have and are tasked with competing, complete basic combat training. After you've completed BCT, you will become an initiate with a pay grade of E0. This is a rank that basically gives you the title of rookie or newbie in Sentinel and is the easiest rank to be promoted out of. From that point on, you all of the exact army ranks, pay grades going on from private, specialist, sergeant, lieutenant, and so on and so forth. So for the complete ranking list, feel free to look at the main server for the sh complete structure. Ranking up is easy in Sentinel if you are active and dedicated, but it will take time. Everyone must earn their rank regardless of their past, and promotions within the clan are highly competitive and require a decent amount of effort. All promotions are voted on by the entire command and high command, so it's important to impress as many members of leadership as possible in order to gain a good reputation. One of the earliest ways to rank up is actually to become a drill instructor, so if you're interested in becoming a DI, be sure to contact me after the game. So, that is the end of the script. Does anybody have any questions about anything? I'm literally the best person to ask because I'm the leader of the clan, so I, even if you're not in training right now, if you have any questions about the structure, because some of them are different from what you guys might understand with special forces, uh, just look up in the, the air, and I can, I'll can call on you if you have a question. Just look up straight up into the air. Up, um, Dagger, by the way. Alright, Dagger, yeah. what's up? Yo, why the fuck did you use before no more navcom raids, faggot? I fought like half those fucking war raids and you stopped putting me in the lineups. Big upset. Why didn't we put you in there? In the yes. war raids? <laughs> I don't That's know, I wasn't upset. even here. For, I, w I wasn't really even in the clan while you were. I was I like know. away for basic training. Yeah, Dagger, you weren't there. It was Craven's idea. I know, I was there. I literally fought in half of those. Yeah, I don't know, like, but if you were... Like, you're one of the best with a railgun, so I don't know why they didn't put you in more. I don't know, man. No, no, no. Literally the uh, best. Cause fuck that nigga named Collapse. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you um, know. Any, we, uh, uh, any other questions? Alright. I have a question. Awesome. Yeah, what's up? Can I fire my RPG now? No, we're Wait, not. We haven't even done phase six. Okay, so. All right, so now we're going to be going over mountain climbs. Dude, you want? Oh, so, oh, oh! Everybody, follow me. We're oh. going to go back in the warthogs. No, you saw me. Yeah. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I'll, I'll, I'll fly you, okay? I'll fly you in the Falcon. Thanks, bro. I got you in the Falcon. You watch them, and we get, we get picked right, them up. All right, let's take the warthogs. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> So we're going to be covering the Ranger Mountain, oh God, the lag. Alaska, and I'm lock out. I'm a lock out. Uh, Eagle's Nest, or and Marine. Eagle's so we're going to be covering four. So lagging. Yeah, it's lagging really bad. Uh, does it matter if we oh, fall in a line? By the way, just go to the mountain. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just get get to Ranger, then stop the convoy. Right here. I'll take Echo. I'm gonna take down, but uh. Um... Yeah, we'll buy her back. Alright, everybody follow me target. up to Ranger. Okay, we were gonna. Yo, Sancho, leave her. Actually. Mm. 
Probably the battle. Thanks, pilot. You're Uber Falcon, man. I'm Uber Falcon. What, would you like a ride? Hey. Yes. It's Welcome lagging, so it's gonna take yeah, a bit is. for all of us. Alright, so this is Ranger Mountain. As you can see, me and Corrupty just did it. Lasky's about to do it right now. I'm Ranger Mountain is. We were did it. Yep. Um, there's a couple of different ways to do this, but I'm gonna teach you the easiest way to do it. You can sprint and crouch jump, you can sprint up it, you can walk up it. There's a lot of different ways, but we're going to teach you up the, the walking up method. This method actually doesn't even involve you um, jumping or like crouching, crouch jumping at all. So let me uh, let me demonstrate real fast. So with Ranger, all you really have to do is walk. Like you essentially like walk, like you're going to walk at full speed, but you're going to use the mountain and kind of slide off of it so if you're not gonna you're gonna wait to kind of jump until you're actually like on it and you'll be able to essentially get up and you'll be able to hit this because there's kind of like a hook that you'll hit on the mountain um but basically like the jumping so you're gonna like use the rock to slide off of it just kind of like how i just did right there and then you'll continue to spam your a button so you can basically jump once you hit that little uh curve i, I don't know I don't know the best way to explain it, but essentially you're just gonna walk up to the mountain and then just jump up it as soon as you're like you're you're gonna hit the mountain first and then you're gonna jump. So like you're hitting the mountain first and then you're gonna jump and you'll be able to jump up on it a second time whenever you hit that ledge. You'll need to have a running you'll have to have a walking start. Like don't don't sprint, don't sprint. All you have to do is walk up to it. Ben, come on. Yeah, bro. we'll we'll do it one yeah, there you go. Just jump you got crouch it. right here. Alright, who's next? Yeah, we'll go one at a time. Yeah, don't. Nice. Let me know. All right, so all you have to do is walk up to it and then jump once you hit the rock. Oh, no. Once you hit this rock right here. You see those bullets right there? Once you hit that rock, that's when you'll jump. Yep, just like you did right there. You don't even need to crouch, really. You can, but you don't need to. If you yeah, do you the jump, just to... go up to the top of Ranger. If you know how to do it. If you don't, we'll teach you on the way up. Yeah, I would ben recommend starting do it. by walking so. like all the way back to this grass kind of area, and then taking that like walk all the way up, kind of hug that wall, hug ben. this side wall, <clears throat> and eventually you're gonna hit this, and then you're gonna jump up just like I I'll just did right here. there. You see, I'm kind of like sliding a across the rock. There you it's go. kind of like gliding across the rock to get up to the jump, essentially. Yep. Don't jump before it. Don't jump before it. You you jump after you hit the rock. The rock is like essentially sliding you up. Yep. Yeah, you just did it right there. There you go. Good jump. You're sliding up the rock. So you're jumping after you there hit you it. Go up the mountain. Yeah. You don't jump me. before you hit the rock. You jump after. I think I got it yeah. now. Close. You got close. You got close. Oh. Wait, we already better. Everyone yep. Go. Nice job. All right. Better work. Next, dividable. All right, Breaker. You're going up the mountain, bro. Go all the way up and wait. I'm waiting up here for the others, so uh, go on, just yeah, everyone, it's gonna be a very to be like, smooth motion. At tier three of Ranger. Yeah, it's gonna be a very yes. smooth motion where you go like, yeah, you're gonna. Yep, there go. you go. Nice job, Vector. There you go, Finn. Go up. Yep, I got it. Thank you. I, I just I want to try to do this. Jumper, so like, you like you it. jump right here. It's like a it's like a crouch. I think I. Lucky, thank you. I think okay. I got it. Jump crouch right here, then walk up. Because I'm trying to. Oh, my, nice, uh, nice. There All right. you go. Trying go to become a DI now. for 212. So. Go. Working go. on it, thank you. That'd be nice, I do. All right. And where are the rest of you? Where are That's all the rest of you guys on Ranger 3? Yeah, we're up here now. Yeah, so now you're going to jump up on this rock. Yep. And then the rest is pretty simple. You can use one around the tree also over here. Wait, where? Don't do it. Yeah, you can just run around the tree. Yeah, I prefer Everyone the tree. Alright, right we got all six training. Pranks. Well, I guess we're missing <laughs> dummy old t-shirt later. Wait, what the? Alright, everybody follow me. Don't jump off. Now we're going to be going to Easy Alaska. What she said. Oh. Yeah, we're not doing back Alaska. That's your advanced training. You oh, all look like dance. There. Nice. Okay. Ants with RPGs. That's fair. He's behind me. But this nigga knows how to make the jump. Honestly, we might just teach Ranger and Ranger Alaska and Eagles to ask somebody who's not even Watch need to teach lock. Marine because no. Marine's really not even that useful, honestly, in a lot of rates. 
A lot of people don't put ray bases near marines, so we're probably just gonna take that out and put it in advanced. Um, yeah, so over here is Alaska. I'll show you guys how to do it, so just make a Y formation on me. Um, Alaska's pretty you, easy to do. You could have died on uh, top of me, by the way. Left face. What are we missing? Someone we're missing died. one. Yeah, if. Coke. It's Heartbreaker and Coke. Heartbreaker's already, Heartbreaker's already done it. There. Yeah, Coke is hey. coming. Yeah, he died, by the way. Jumped on top of me. Okay. Where you at? I can Heartbreaker, pick you up. You lay really fucking me up. When I was jumping behind you, like my, I got aim assist. Didn't turn right, my shit to the looking. left. Oh, wait for Cocky over here. Get over here. Crouch Did down if you already know how to do it. Hmm? Crouch down what? if you're in formation right now and you already know how to climb Alaska. Crouch down if you already know how to do it. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, you can up crouching. Back. All right, so how you do this is pretty simple. You can kind of watch him do it. Don't do it just yet. Don't do it just yet. Get back in line. All right, so as you can see, there are two ledges right here. Um, shooting them right now. These are very easy to hop. You don't even need to crouch jump. You can easily clamber on both of these. Now, you're going to want to kind of get over to, like, you can kind of see how in the rock there's, like, a kind of, like, indention, how you can go over to this plat part of the platform. You're gonna want to get over here, and then you're gonna want to. The easiest way to do it is to crouch jump to the to this left uh, side of the rock to basically hook onto it. That's the easiest way to do it is crouching to the left. Um, and then once you crouch, all you have to do is walk up. Very simple. I got. Um, you just need to <coughs> practice it essentially. So we'll go. Uh, okay, you'll go first. So easy that you might get mental block. Yeah, it's so easy that you'll mental block yourself and miss the jump. Oh, no. Yeah. Once you fall, get back to the end of the line, and uh, the next person will go. Satch, I'm gonna destroy that Falking. <coughs> yeah, over here, Koki. Next, behind Dividable. Wait, oh, jump. You know, jump to the. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Wait. Wait. Art. <clears throat> Don't take off. Dumber, you just have to. No, dumber. Okay, dumber. I... Clearly, you don't play Never Rich, but uh. No, no, it's fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. Alright, Spectre. Spectre. Yeah, Spectre will go. I can get up. Yeah. Dumber, let's, let's try Dumber because bit. I know everyone else is there. Hey, uh, Big Egg, so should be back on in a minute. Somebody logged in under, under Xbox apparently. You could change the password to get on. <laughs> yes. Alright, So easy that you're gonna get mental blocked. <laughs> yeah, just like Koki got mental blocked right there. Alright, Dumber. Don't go all the way to the right, just jump up on this little edge. Yeah, right do here. you see this little edge? Just crouch yeah. jump it. All you're gonna do is crouch jump it. Imagine getting mental blocks Close. from a fucking rock. You can go a little bit back. You can go a little <laughs> You'd bit be back surprised. and then get the. So I'm just gonna mental block and crouch jumps. Please yeah, get away from my penis. So, <laughs> mental block time. <laughs> it's so green, bro. Alright, so cook. I can't help it. I <laughs> fucking asshole. Hey, word, don't do it. Yeah, I dare you. Remember, I swear to God, I will ninja the life out of you. Is it the main of my existence? How big I'm Ninja this. He's <laughs> like a random. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, good. That was in a track. Some more cross jump right here. There you go. Almost. Close. Yeah. You got close. Let me see yeah, where close. you can stand on. Oh, shit. My bad. The level. You hear me? Yeah. I'm right here. Jump up right here. You can see this little black dot, that's where you want to be crouched jumping. Wait, wait. Just go to the left. You can see me standing Squish this bug. I'm even crouching, oh God. I'm not falling off. Where did you I'm get that? <laughs> You're trying to hit me. I defended my fellow clan to me. Where did you get that? Where did you get that? It was a sick clan. I had two magnums. I got a grenade and a what? grenade, bro. There's a little <laughs> black dot, and you can you jump do? up from the black dot. I'll remove dot. that. Oh, you're Imagine close. Imagine that as a crouch jump. Oh, no, it's no, just a crouch off. jump from there. Yep, there you go. And yeah, go to more the to the left. left. Go to the left. Go to the left. You never want to go Whoa. up that right. Yeah. So, Cocky, whenever you, whenever Whoa. you like hit the like whenever you clamber onto the rock, you're gonna want to go to the left. Stop go going to the, to the left. right. Go to, man down. go to the left. No, not okay, right. You just That's went, right. Do you even Holy know your left and right? <laughs> How'd you die? <laughs> go to the left. We got a man down. Sorry, I was listening to music. Guys, stop. Stop fucking around. Stop fucking around. Okay. Everyone look at me. Everyone look at me from a side angle. Do this, everyone. Take a Fire pose. Alright, yeah. yeah. That's, treat this like a crush jump. 
because you're crouch jumping towards it. I'm not yes, gonna fall. And then you're gonna go to the left. I'm like crouching, spamming. You can just walk up from here. Or crouch jump. Yep, ball. walk to the left. Just walk to the left. That's all you need to do. There yep, you there go. You go. <laughs> this is the easiest mountain, boys. Yeah, yeah this is the easiest one. And then walk to the pass. left. Yep, you got it. Found a little betrayed. Alright, did everybody Felt get like, it? Uh, I got fucked over. Ooh. You know, it's <laughs> Alright, so now we are going to go up to Eagle's Nest. So, everybody go! follow me. Oh, motherfucker! Watch out, guys. You can probably fall off the edge. Just be careful. Yeah, be it's careful that you do not fall off the edge. Wayward Plus, the connection is kind of shitty right now. So, this now, is. So. This is going to be uh, Eagle's Nest, we're, what we're about to show you. There's a couple of other locations there that goes. you can do this around the map, but essentially <laughs> the idea is breaking the boundaries and using... Oh. So, like, on the top of this rock, you can use the kill boundaries. Like, there's certain areas of the rocks where you can... where you're no longer affected by the kill boundaries, essentially. This is very simple. Crouch jump at the first, and then you just gotta sprint up. You don't even have to jump, just sprint up the rock. And then you're gonna see the return to battlefield, but just essentially walk over to where we are, and you can regen the return to battlefield once you have everybody in the group ways over here. Wait, we're why are you yeah, we're gonna show you two what the ways. Hell happened? A lot of things happened. This one's with the uh, no return to battlefield. All right, is everybody up here? Or just a okay. fiery falcon. Let's go this way. I right, see so you can walk all the way up, all the way across this rock. All the way across, and then you can walk. This side, yep. This is without Just the boundary. No, 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 no. Whoever's going over there, stop. Don't Yeah, don't go to the whoever. right. Don't go to the right. Over here where we are. Yeah. You guys can, yeah, that, that I mean, you can't go good. over there, but uh, this is over, this is more useful this is because easy, you can nice. literally you know, see, like, you can see the entire part of the map. Whoa. And obviously, you know there's, a, there's a thing over there above the <laughs> Obviously, ranger. you can sprint up that way. We can yeah, above ranger too. Uh, dude, All I right. have the smoke. And then you can also go back the way that we came, follow me, you can literally just walk down this. Saber, wait, can we just all open birds. fire on Wayward really quickly? I mean, he's right no, there, he's later. smoking. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> stop. stop shooting him, stop shooting him, stop shooting him. He's probably gonna die because of that crap. Yeah. <laughs> that went in front of me. Alright, oh right. I think, yeah, I'm not even gonna cover Marine, so that's pretty much it, so... I think we should uh, cover Montana, to be honest. We definitely. No, Montana's a little bit too. We're gonna cover that in more advanced training. Basic is just very basic, so we can get some very simple stuff out of the way. And then advanced, we'll teach it more. Oh, but... right here. Sweet. Alright, so you guys have all completed uh, basic yeah. combat training. So... <laughs> Why? Uh, except no. for Domitrons. Domitron, let's go over to the parkour course. Um, if you guys... Oh. Yeah, if I you want... I try to boost the server if I don't do that shit. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, <laughs> if you guys, 